Welcome back everyone for another week of BP Kids Online. We're so glad that you're able to join us this weekend. Hopefully you've been able to tune in over the last couple of weeks as we've been going through our new series called Go, which means for us to go on a mission and to tell people about Jesus. We've talked all about how God gives us everything we need, how God gives us the Holy Spirit so that we are able to go on this mission and to tell other people about Jesus. This week, we are going to be learning a new theme, a new big idea, and we have a special guest who is going to share a few stories about their experience going on a mission. So Pastor Elaine and our guest, Simeon, are coming up next to talk more about that. This month, we've been learning all about going on a mission and that God has given us everything we need to do it. Sometimes we might be on a mission here at home with our family and our friends and telling others about who Jesus is. But sometimes God calls us on a mission like Paul to go away from our home and to tell other people about Jesus. I want to tell you all about my friend, Simeon. I'm so excited, Simeon, that you're here today to tell us more about the mission that God called you on. Can you tell us a little bit more about the mission that God sent you on? So YWAM stands for Youth with a Mission. It's opportunity for young people to go on a short term missions trip. That's awesome. So you went on a short term mission, short term missions trip this past year. And um, did you have the opportunity to tell other people about Jesus? Yes, we had a very, especially in Philippines where we did our second uh, outreach, we had a lot of time to tell people about Jesus. So how would you tell people about Jesus? I mean, these are strangers. Well, you would first you would have a little talk, get to know them, and then once you got to know them, you would start uh, bringing stories that uh, relate to telling about Jesus. That's awesome. So you kind of were building relationship with strangers, and then you were sharing your story about Jesus and how Jesus changed your life. That is so awesome. I think we're all called to tell people about who Jesus is. It might be at home, here in our own home, in our schools, with our friends, or it could be like Simeon, who God called to another country to tell strangers about who Jesus was. This week, we're learning all about how I can help others when I pray. There'll be times when we are not able to help our friends when they have a really big problem. Even though we really want to be a good friend and we want to help people, sometimes the best thing we can do is pray for them because God's given us everything we need. And part of that is the ability to talk to God at any time, anywhere we are. So this week, our big idea is, I can help others when I pray. Stand on your feet. I want you guys to remember this, because I don't want you to forget. So we're going to do some actions. Here we are, standing up tall. I can help others when I pray. One more time. I can help others when I pray. So Simeon, tell me about fundraising. Tell me about what it was like at YWAM when you had to fundraise to get money to go on your mission. So we had to do multiple different things to uh, fundraise. We did bottle drives and we went around the community just helping out to see, to see uh, the best way we can get uh, uh, fundraise enough funds for the for uh, outreach. Mm -hmm. uh, some of my brothers and sisters, they didn't have enough money to go on um, outreach so we had to find different ways to help them but I really wanted to help them but I didn't have enough funds to help them to, to go on outreach but the only thing I could do as a friend and a brother is pray for them to help that God will bring the money into them good and then so after you prayed for them yeah what happened after we prayed for them on the last day uh, before we went, everybody had enough money and we even had more extra money to go on outreach. Oh, excellent. So God provided a way, yeah. even though physically you couldn't help, yes. you were able to help in prayer. Yes. Awesome. Thanks for sharing, Simeon. Thank you. When we think about how we can help others when we pray, our prayers can be powerful and God can use them in ways that we might never imagine possible. 
In the Bible, we have a really great example of this in the book of Acts chapter 12, verse five. And at the time, King Herod arrested a man named Peter and he was put in prison. He was under guard of 16 guards. There were 16 people trying to keep him in prison. But we're gonna read more about the story starting in verse five. So grab your Bibles and let's read together. So Peter was kept in prison, but the church prayed hard to God for him. It was the night before Herod was going to bring him to trial, and Peter was sleeping between two soldiers. Two chains held him there, and lookouts stood guard at the entrance. But suddenly an angel of the Lord appeared. A light shone in the prison cell, and the angel struck Peter on his side. Peter woke up. Quick, the angel said, get up. And the chains fell off Peter's wrists. Then the angel said to him, put on your clothes and your sandals. So Peter did so. Put on your coat, the angel said to him. Follow me. And so Peter followed him out of the prison. But he had no idea that the angel was, what the angel was doing was really happening. He thought he was seeing a vision. They passed the first and second guards. Then they came to the iron gate leading to the city and it opened for them by itself. They went through it and they walked the length of one street. Suddenly, an a the angel left Peter. Then Peter realized what had happened and he said, now I know for sure that the Lord has sent his angel. He set me free from Herod's power. He saved me from everything the Jewish people were hoping would happen. When Peter understood what had happened, he went to Mary's house. Mary was the mother of John Mark. Many people had gathered in her home and they were praying there. Peter knocked at the outer entrance. A servant named Rhoda came to answer the door. She recognized Peter's voice. She was so excited that she ran back without even opening the door. Peter is at the door, she exclaimed. You must be out of your mind, they said to her. But she kept telling them that it was true. So they said it must be his angel. Peter kept on knocking. And when they opened the door and saw him, they were amazed. Peter motioned with his hand for them to be quiet and he explained how the Lord had brought him out of prison. Tell James and the other brothers and sisters about this, he said, and then he went to another place. It's so great for us to remember that we can help others when we pray for them. So before we go today, we have some small group questions that you can go over together as a family and you can spend some time in prayer and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna close. So before we go today, let's pray together. God, we thank you that when we pray, you hear us, and God, that you can do big things with our prayers. God, we thank you that we can help other people by asking you to help them. God, when we pray for them, even out of our own, if out of our own power we aren't, are unable to help them, we thank you, God, that you are able to help other people when we pray to you and we ask you. So Father, I pray that you would remind us as we go on a mission and as we tell other people about Jesus, that we would be reminded that we can also pray for those people and that you would reveal yourself to them and they would come to know you as well. In your name, amen. Well, we're so glad that you're able to join us this week for another week of VP Kids Online. Make sure you stay tuned this week for all the things that we have coming up. We have our Makeup Mondays coming out. We have a few other activities that are coming out during the week, like our Zoom calls. And coming soon, we're going to have more information about stuff that we have going on in the summer. So make sure you stay tuned for that, and we'll see you next time.